Hi all, in this video, I'm going to write a trigger if I make the active field of the account as yes, in that cases, I will update all the related contacts where I'm going to update the primary field of all the related contacts as true. So in simple terms, if I make the active field of the account as yes, I'm going to go ahead and update all the related contact primary contact this primary field as true. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to create a trigger on account and because my triggering point itself is an account and I'm going to write the trigger in afters because if account is updated, I want to update the contact. So as I want to update the related records, that's why I'm using afters. Next, I'm going to divide the overall task into smaller number of chunks. Now, first in the first instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to store the ID of the account <clears throat> that has been updated with active as yes. So I want to store all the IDs of the accounts where if the active field is changed to yes. So for that purpose, first I need to get all the accounts that are just updated, right? Just updated, not only active, but all the accounts that have been updated. That can be achieved with the help of trigger.new. And as trigger.new is going to return the data in the form of list, I'm going to loop over it. Next, I'm going to check if the active checkbox, active field of the account equals to equals to yes. Right. So the incoming account that have been recently updated, I'm going to check whether the active field of that those account is changed to if it is yes. But I want to also check. I also also provide one more check that if active field is updated or not. So for that purpose, I need to compare the older version of the account and the newer version of the account with the active field. So if the previously the value was no and the new value is yes, only then I want to go ahead and capture the IDs of the account. So for that purpose, I'm going to ACC account old first of all i need to get the older version of the account that can be achieved with the help of trigger dot old map trigger dot old map dot get acc dot id so using acc id that is the same account for the current account whatever i am updating i will get the older versions of the account so this means if olderly if the previously the active field was let's say no and new field is yes only this means the active field was changed and only then i want to go ahead and update the or uh, capture the id of the account so if you see i'm checking with the active field of the older version of the account if it is not equal to the newer version this means the account active field is only updated and along with that it is updated to yes then i have to capture the id of the account so list of id account id equals to new list of id okay so i'm going to capture the id of the account cc.id okay fine so the first step is successfully done that is store the id of the account that has been updated with active as yes next step i need to get all the related contacts to it so to do that first i have captured the id of this account now i need to get the related contacts to get the related contacts i need to write the query list of contact con list so con list equals to select id from account sorry from contact where account id in so what i'm simply doing over here is as i'm using list first of all because if you can see there are more than one contact right now over here in my particular demo there are two contacts already right so for that purpose i'm going to use list list con list and here i'm going to query all the related contacts so select id from the contact where account id is the account id is equals to the account id that we have captured above so basically if i'm going to update this account i'm going to get all the related contacts to this now next what i want to do is i want to update the primary field of this contacts right so for that purpose i'm going to loop as there are multiple contacts so i'm going to loop over them one by one so if you see the second step is already done <coughs> getting all the related contacts we are moving to the third step where we are going to update all the related contacts so for that purpose i'm going to use con list okay i'm going to loop over each of this contact one by one <coughs> and then I'm going to make the primary for primary contact field. So if I see the API name of this primary, it's primary contact underscore underscore C. 
I need to query this as well. If I'm going to update this, I want to query this as well. Equals to true. Now I'm going to add the whole contact itself to in another list so that I can update it separately. Okay, I'm adding this particular contact in this. And now if the contact is updated successfully, I'm going to do go ahead and check the size of this. And if the size is greater than zero, just update the contact list. So in simple terms, what I've right now over here is done is that first of all, I have captured all the ID of the account whose active checkbox is or the active field is checked. And if active field is checked to yes. And if you have found such account, we are storing it within the list of IDs. Now, once that I've stored it, I'm going to get all the related contacts to that particular account. Now, once I have received it, I'm looping over each of them one by one and I'm updating the primary contact field to true. And then finally, I'm updating it. So let's try it out whether it's working or not. So I'm going to go ahead for and then I'll update the active to yes. So if you see primary fields for both the contacts are updated to unchecked yet now. So I'm going to make it as yes and let's see whether it is updated or not. Okay, so let's see whether the primary field is checked updated to yes, the primary contact the primary field of this particular contact one which was related to the account has been updated successfully if you can see now let's go to the next contact as well and most probably for that particular contact will also the primary field will also get updated so as you can see primary field for that particular account or the contact has been also updated so this is how you can update the related contacts but if it is only static value right now i know that value is going to be true anyhow in that cases that's why i'm not using maps but if it was something else i would have used map as well i knew the value was static it is going to be always true that's the reason why i have not used map but in the next few video we are also going to use map and learn about it if you found this video helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel